Oh my god! What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Oh, that's right. We blast his fucking head off. Where the fuck are you? There you are. Fire, bitch. But boom Hey. Don't be a bitch about it. Don't be a bitch about it. Fight like a man, Volgan. That's just like a great quote, Ocelot said. So much so that I've used it three more times since he said it. So all we gotta do is we gotta fire rockets at the treads so he can't spin around and chase us no more. So it exposes that weak point that fell off. Damn it. So it exposes that weak point that fell off when we fucked up that bridge. You can move just fine, actually. I'm trying to make it so you cannot, though. Eva, what are you doing? Stop it. Oh, that is the spot. Okay. Let's go ahead and fire some more rockets. Yeah, bitch. We are wearing him down. Isn't that what, what you say when you don't dress nice to an, a nice occasion? You're wearing down? No, it's dressing down. Fuck! Sky Mario is stupid, everybody. Here's uh, breaking news. Sky Morrow's kind of an idiot. We'll use that L1 button. There we go. Got that second hit in. This guy ain't shit. This guy ain't shit. You ain't shit. You gain nothing. Bring it on, you bitch. You little bitch. You can move just fine. I'm, quit lying. Try to fool me. I'm trying to make it so you can't move. But I know for a fact that you can move pretty well right now. No, don't fire guns. Don't fire guns. Just let it happen. Just let it happen. Fire them misses. Let me fire them misses. Perfect. Oh, we can't. Can't hit him more than once? What's that all about? Where are we getting all these missiles? Can't have that many missiles. There's not room for that many missiles on this boat. On this bike. On this boat. Hey, a boat. We're about to swim through the ground, so it's a car. Cut that out, man. You're embarrassing yourself. You look like a little pussy, pussy pants. You look like you got a pussy in your pants. And not the good kind. There we go, we got him again. But of course it's not going to let him hit him twice in a row. Let's start hitting them treads again. That whole reload trick is just invaluable in this battle. Where you unload, you unequip and reequip, and it reloads it for you. That's really useful. This battle will probably be taking six hours longer than it normal would be if it weren't for that treat, that cheat, and the trick. I mix those words together. No. Not today, kaboom. I mean, kaboom. Yeah, you did. You're gonna die. See, look at that. Four times, and I only heard him once, though. What's that all about? What's this game all about? Other than Cold War tactical espionage action. Bitches. Okay. I am keeping it up. Don't. Don't make jokes about my wiener. Don't you laugh at it. He gets the job done. You'll be able to feel it still. What do you got to complain about? Why are you so selfish and Betty? But come on. Okay, one more should do him. Do him in. There we go. Cutscene.
gonna use yourself as bait? Are you insane? I'm used to this guy. I know how to handle him. Okay, let's take this fucker out. Uh, it seems to be the same basic concept going on here. Gotta keep Eva from getting squished this time. So this time we gotta hit Vulgan. Okay, well, what the fuck's going on with my view? I fucked that up, okay. Hey man, just fucked you up a little bit. Hope you don't mind. Ba boom! There you oh wait, we need to use that. We need to use the Mark 22. We gotta use the Mark 22 to take him down. Curse us and our no kill runs. Keep pressing the wrong button. Keep going for R1 when I try to shoot him. That's not even the right controls for this game. All right, let's go for that Mark 22. I guess that just doesn't affect him. Whatever, fine, we'll go for rockets. We'll go for rockets if that's really what you want, game. I can't move either. Because of this weapon being exclusively first person. Wait, wait, how did that not hit you? How did that not hit him? First, I thought that was the sound of Snake being dead. I'm like, what the fuck? But no, we haven't died this quickly. Eva, you bitch. What the fuck? What the fuck is your fucking bitch ass deal? What the fuck do I do? Treads. Treads. The treads. The treads. Treads, 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 Fucking A. Out of ammo. I thought that meant, I thought the 20 meant I had, uh, so used to ground zeros. I need to play this game, actually, rather than fucking, fucking up all the fucking time. Eva, where'd you put that ammo? I, I heard that you gave me some. Stop it. Don't shoot me. I don't want to be shooting. Shooting is mean. You become me. Oh, there it is. Eva, you bitch. Why couldn't you give it? Did you see that fucking thing just ran away from me? Yeah. Eva, you're completely fucking useless. I was fucking firing. I was pressing that wrong button, oh, of course. Alright. Guy Morrow, never play other games ever again. Lesson learned. Okay. There we go. Damn, damn it, damn you, okay? I'll grind you into fucks. Let's fix that burn that we got. Alright, bandage, ointment. We're done. We're good. It's over. Okay, actually, we're not. Oh, you bitch! Why did you hit me twice? You fucking weenie ass bitch. Tip nigger. Alright. There you go. Eat it, sucker. The treads. I tread. You. I dread the day that you are able to move your treads. You're dead. 
fucking get my own cutscene. Afraid of a little thunder. Time for this now. The escape craft is just up ahead. Let's get going. Shit, we got people chasing us. Like, this hasn't happened 30 times in the last 15 minutes. I don't have that much money to take all these guys out. I'm sure they're all nice guys, but I just don't have that kind of funds available. Die. That's good enough for me. You're not bad at being a bitch. Might as well shoot you in the fucking head and stomp on your tits. And enjoy the squish. Except there will no be squish, because you've got fake boobs. Let's go. Where's guys? There's guys. There's dead guys. Oh, fuck. There we go. How's that? Who else, who else wants some? Who else needs some? I can't see shit. Let's throw on those thermal goggles just to help us out a bit. You gonna, is anybody else gonna come and try to chase us? Eva, you dumb bitch. Why is your hair purple but your clothes are red? Like, that's got warm. Whatever, stupid bitch. Stupid bitches. We can kill everybody. We'll kill everybody. Fuck. Enemy sighted. More like enemy delighted to kill you. Uh, you guys first. And you guys fourth. I can't see anything, but we got away, so that's all that matters. Eva safety, doesn't matter. My safety, most important. There's guys. Keep trying to press that R1 button. Samaro doesn't know how to play this game. After she was episode 13. 13 episodes! Whatever. Oh my god, it's the... Uh, Star Wars battle again. It's like Star Wars. Like, uh, like on Star Wars, you know? Uh, what's that? Alder, no, it's Alder on Princess Leia's planet that got blown up. Uh, the, the jungle planet. With the, with the Ewoks. Endor, I think. Forest moon of Endor? That's it. That's totally what we're ripping off. We're ripping off 1970s action movies. Like James Bond and Star Wars. 
Especially since you got these flying contraptions. These flying contraptions here. They existed back in the 60s. But I don't think they were this plentiful. They didn't have that kind of that big of inventory on them. I don't know, it's the Russians. They didn't have good management of resources. Alright, is that all of them? Oh, uh... Fog. Don't want us. I fucked up! Oh, we're, we're still good though. Just let me know if there's another log, and I'll make a joke about poop. Alright. Is this where the cutscene starts? I think so. No, I guess not. Well, fucking shit. I like how there's already just like a path ingrained in the forest for us already. Like, thanks, forest gods. You helped Snake in his espionage mission. Where the fuck? You bastards. This shit's getting intense. I guess like when... When, when like, you play dog poops. And, and you put a paper towel on it. And it's like a tent, so this shit is getting intense. Oh, no, never mind! It's too much of a stretch for the joke! Right. Incor no, incorrect. Oh, Eva, you're getting real on my nerves. Drive faster, because these guys are being jerks. Who's there? Why do these people keep going? Their commander is dead, their paychecks are gone. They have no reason to keep going. Some kind of warped form of patriotism you guys running off of? You can go home, there's nothing stopping you. Don't wanna hold on. I'll hold on to your tip tight Uh, and we wouldn't survive that. I couldn't quite see, the thermal goggles one, but we probably, the, the thing would probably break apart. I wanna check out my thermal goggles. That was your J West. Whatever. Looks like they finally gave up. Don't start celebrating yet. We're leaking fuel. Damn it. Tank shot up. Crap. is waiting for you. You have to go. Give me a gun. No, we're getting out of here. If we're still far away from the lake, I'll never make it. I can't believe this. Uh -huh. I never thought I'd see you act this week. What do you mean? Listen to me, Eva. We're doing this together. No, you... Eva, I need you. Say that one more time. I need you. I can't fly the wig by myself. <laughs> All right, then. I guess I'd better help you out. <laughs> Oh. <coughs> 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 
You're lucky to have me. No. Snake, can you hear me? Paramedic. Thank God. Eva's been seriously hurt. So have you. Luckily, I think her organs are all intact, but... Calm down, Snake. Calm down? You'll both be fine as long as you get the proper emergency treatment. But you're the only one who can do this. Understand? So you've got to calm down. Right. Okay. Okay. Now let's open up the survival viewer and treat the injury. Do you have supplies with you? I'm running kind of short. Then by switching the survival viewer over to Eva, you can treat her wounds too. Now get to work. Oh, and Snake, I'm pretty sure you know this already. But if you don't have enough supplies for the both of you, your wounds come first. Huh? Do you get my meaning, Snake? You've still got a mission to complete. Yeah, I know what I have to do. Snake? Like this. Okay, so let's go into the cure menu. We're gonna completely disregard what paramedic said. And we're gonna treat Eva first, cause we gotta lock down that pussy. Sneak cut, suture kit. Oh, that's one. Bandage, dip dick, disinfectant. I uh, don't the ointment, fuck. An abdomen pierced by a tree branch. Bleeding, no damage applied. Let's disinfect it. Dip dick, bandage, suture kit. Alright, she good. But we're still hurting though. Hey, go back. I think so. Here. It's different from the Mauser. When you're using a two-hand grip, you have to be careful where you put your hands or your fingers will get burned by the exhaust gas from the cylinder gap. Snake, are you all right? I've been better. What about Eva? I healed her up. She can manage. Good. Snake, you'll take the lead and break through the enemy's line of defense. Eva will ordinarily be following behind you. If you lie on your belly, she'll lie down as well. If you slip and fall off a cliff, she'll follow right behind. You can call out to Eva by pressing the action button. Head to the lake along with Eva. Okay, we got this fucking stupid escort mission going on. But we got lots of shit we don't need, I guess. Ration. And a bunch of that shit. What the fuck? Why give us all that shit when we don't need any of it? Anyway, Eva, hold my hand. Oh, I mean, let's go. I thought you could hold her hand, but I guess it's the Metal Gear Solid 2. I was mistaken. Eva's pretty low in stamina, though, so we'll give her some of our fucking food. Eat, your, eat that shit. Nasty. Um, this tastes like crap. I don't think you know what kind of crap tastes like. Well, maybe you do. You went Vulgan. He's a pretty shitty, weird stuff. I don't know. Okay, let's, uh, let's get ourselves some fresh snake. I mean, whoops. Hold on. There we go. We'll share that later, Eva. This kid, you can't share it. She's gonna have to eat all herself, that fatty bitch. And I'm naturally gonna speed this part up because it's just so fucking slow. So, my voice is all squeaky now. And we, uh, I don't think it's much of a spoiler to say the last boss is the boss. She's coming up soon. So, uh, we will end the video right before that and have the final part of the game. 
be um, the boss, and then the epilogue. I mean, it's not very, it's not a secret what's gonna have to happen to the boss. So I hope I'm not ruining that for nobody. I don't know why I would be. It says at the beginning of the game. Come on, Eva, you fat bitch. Let's give her some snacks. Let's waste some of those rations we have. They don't feel a lot, but... Yuck! And let's keep going. Keeping an eye open for enemy soldiers. Come on, you're coming, you're coming, you're coming, you're coming, you can come. Come on, come on, let's go, let's go, all right. Cutscene, all right, I guess. Oh shit, okay, these guys are trying to get after us. Eva, stay the fuck here. Oh no, they're coming down that way. Alright, we're gonna have to face them head on. Bring it, bitches! Dude, oh, he sliced me like a bitch. Fuck you. Hey, you can't hurt her, she's a girl. She's not allowed to hurt girls. I mean, technically, you should not hurt boys either, but girls, especially. They have vaginas, and they can deny you vaginas for hurting them. Let's go ahead and make sure these guys stay asleep. Right, I'm over nowhere. You're over nowhere. Okay, let's take these guys out old-fashioned style. Let's take our little judo kung fu bullshit. Yeah, okay, let's take healer wounds and uh, gunshot wounds. Dig it out with a knife, stiff-dick disinfect. We got a fucking deep cut on the back of our head. That's probably gonna... Yeah, that's gonna... You're gonna... Is that dead? That is just dead right there. Bring it, bitch. I fucking hate you. You ain't no thing. Hey, you can't hurt that girl. You can't hurt that girl. Can't even hurt that girl. Did you just stab that girl? No. Go ahead and trank all these people who need to be trained. I hope they're not never in there. That's fucking annoying. Get over here, you bitch. Can we start killing people? We made it this far, but I don't care if I gotta kill some people. Come over here, you bitch. Just let me work. You don't see nobody. You see Barack Obama 50 years before his inauguration. Fuck you. This guy dude. Headshot them both. Right in the face. You can throw him in the ground. You can throw you in the ground. Everybody gets thrown in the ground. Okay, let's get going, Eva. Yeah, that's me. You're pretty low on that fucking... Not here. No, I didn't mean to go back twice. I just thought it didn't respond that first time. Let's go. Give you that fucking rush of ration. What did you give me? More of it. Oh, I'm gonna puke. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna puke. I'm gonna puke. His crotch is full of heat right now. Because he's with Eva, I guess. Come on, Eva. Double time. We don't have to deal. Oh shit, not this fucking shit again. Eva, guess what? Bring it, bitch! I'll fucking wreck you! I'm a fucking marine and fight me IRL. Beat you. Bitch, I'm a dick. Eva, the fuck you saying, you thirsty bitch? Okay, let's not worry about them. No one is no one. Come on, Eva. What the fuck? Just grab them boobs and make you shut up. You, you must be saying things because I'm just a guy trying to get some pussy. Apparently in her dreams I'm getting it. So I have nothing to complain about. Get out of here. Keep going. This is just easier. Takes longer, but it's easier. We're always moving. Don't gotta worry about fucking progression and shit. Because, I mean, fuck. It's part of the game. It's actually meant to, to make them slow the mood. Down the moon from that huge car chase. Right and now the game is more subdued. The more, uh, you know, we're ready for that final boss battle with that boss. Okay. I'm just gonna grab Dragon through the mud here. I wonder if we can make her brunette by putting her in the mud. Eva would be a hot brunette, let me tell you. I personally, myself, not a fan of blonde. If she were brunette, oh man, she could get it. 
Oh, that would have been a nice, nice effect if she her hair turned. Oh, kind of, maybe a little bit. I see you. How do we get on the top of her head? Whatever, I'm not interested. Someone photoshopped me a picture of Brunette Eva, so I have something to masturbate to later. Do we just go in a circle? I fucking hope not. Where's the other bitches? Other bitch. Other bitches. Fuck you. And additionally, fuck you. Quit dreaming about me and actually, like, doing it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, who's fucking doing it? Who's the dead man? Bring it, you bitch. I fucking see you alive. Who's fucked up, bitch? Uh, then we need to get you out of here. Cause this is getting real old real fast. Gunshot wound. Dig it out, stiff dick, disinfect, bandage, we're good. Gunshot wound, disinfect, stiff dick, bandage, let's get it out first. Alright, Eva! Eva! Let's make our escape. Let's drag you on the floor. Away from here. Nobody. Hold on, we are back, Eva. Guys, take care of these big nasties. I need to do with those two huge gunshots. Is that like a fucking shotgun? Body piling up. Fuck. Let's heal my wounds. Let's heal your wounds. We got that call. We're gonna ignore it. Suture bandage. Dip, dip, disinfect. Oh, with the bullet wound. Let's get it out with the knife. Bandage. Dip, dip, disinfect. Let's uh, get that trank dart out of Eva. Dig it out with a knife. That's dangerous. Oh, yeah. Anyway. Okay, Eva. Back to sleep with you. Get that suppressor on there. Let me have much use for it. Much longer. It's almost over, people. Alright, Eva. I'm gonna do that. But let's uh, get you in the humpy position. I mean, see that the humpy's in position. No one there. He's gonna take him out before he sees us. There we go. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. There we go. That saves us some trouble. Is there anybody else trying to make trouble for us here? Yeah, these guys. It's not the enemy. You are fooling yourself. Just go to bed. Go to bed. We only got five bullets left, though. Yes. Hope he goes to bed by himself. Nothing's wrong, man. Let's see if we can sneak up behind him. There we go. Into bed with him. Hopefully that's everybody in the area. But we can't. We only got three more bullets left. It's not gonna work out too well. Hey, Eva. Let's get it on just one more time. Okay. We need to fire that last bullet. Okay, I'm wasting precious resources here. Let's drag your face across the floor, across the floor one more time. Montage mode. Come on, Snake. We made it. We made it. 
Over there. It's the boss, isn't it? I'll go get the wig ready to take off. Right. I'll leave you two alone. But come back in one piece, okay? Promise me! Life's end. Isn't it beautiful? It's almost tragic. When life ends, it gives off a final lingering aroma. Life is but a farewell gift from the darkness to those on their way to die. I've been waiting, Snake, for a long time. Waiting for your birth, your growth, and the finality of today. Boss, why are you doing this? Why? To make the world one again. The world used to be whole. But with the end of the Second World War, the philosophers began to fight amongst themselves, and the world was torn apart. The Cobras, my comrades, who trained and fought alongside me, were torn apart as well. The foibles of politics and the march of time can turn friends into enemies just as easily as the wind changes. Ridiculous, isn't it? Yesterday's ally becomes today's opposition. And this Cold War? Think back. When I was leading the Cobras, America and Russia were fighting together. Now, consider whether America and Russia will still be enemies in the 21st century. Somehow, I doubt it. Enemies change along with the times, the flow of the ages, and we soldiers are forced to play along. I didn't raise you and shape you into the man you are today, just so we could face each other in battle. A soldier's skills aren't meant to be used to hurt friends. So then what is an enemy? Is there such a thing as an absolute timeless enemy? There is no such thing, and never has been. And the reason is that our enemies are human beings like us. They can only be our enemies in relative terms. The world must be made whole again. The philosophers must be reunited. I will devote my skills to that purpose. And with the Colonel's money, I will achieve that end. Just as I once created the Cobras. They are my family. I may no longer be able to bear children, but I still have a family. It was November 1st, 1951. I was in the Nevada desert, participating in atomic testing. The name Nevada is derived from Spanish, covered in snow, white as snow. And snow is exactly what I saw in that Nevada desert. It froze my blood white. Snake. You were an atomic test subject, weren't you? On Bikini Atoll. That's part of the reason I was drawn to you. You and I are alike. We're both slowly being eaten away by the karma of others. We'll never have the chance to die peacefully of old age. We have no tomorrow. But we can still have hope for the future. In 1960, 
I saw a vision of the ideal future from space. Three years earlier, the Soviet Union had succeeded in launching Sputnik, the first man-made satellite in history, into orbit. This came as a huge shock to the United States. In response, America threw everything it had into its own manned spaceflight project, the Mercury Program. Even as the Soviets seemed poised to send their first man into space, America was still experimenting with chimpanzees and rockets. The government wanted human data. So they secretly decided to send a human being into space. I was the one they chose. At the time, they didn't have the technology to block out cosmic rays, and whoever they sent up would inevitably be exposed to heavy radiation. That's why they chose me. After all, I'd already been irradiated once. Of course, you won't find any of this in the history books. I could see the planet as it appeared from space. That's when it finally hit me. Space exploration is nothing but another game in the power struggle between the U.S. and the U.S.S.R. Politics, economics, the arms race, they're all just arenas for meaningless competition. I'm sure you can see that, but the Earth itself has no boundaries. No East, no West, no Cold War. And the irony of it is, the United States and the Soviet Union are spending billions on their space programs and the missile race, only to arrive at the same conclusion. In the 21st century, everyone will be able to see that we are all just inhabitants of a little celestial body called Earth. A world without communism or capitalism, that is the world I wanted to see. But reality continued to betray me. In 1961, I was sent to Cuba, to Bahia de Cochinos. It was part of a CIA-sponsored invasion, under the guise of taking Cuban exiles back to their country. But the U.S. government betrayed them. Our weak-kneed president held back their air support. Defenseless, the exiles were annihilated by the Cuban army. All I could do was watch in silence. I was set up by the very country I'd sacrificed so much for by the very government I dedicated my life to defending. I was driven from the surface world, and I went underground. Then, two years ago, I faced the sorrow, my old comrade in battle. He was my friend. But one of us had to die. I was left with no choice. The sorrow gave his life for me. There is no enmity between us. One must live, and one must die. That was the mission. The ones who gave me that mission were the philosophers. Early in the 20th century, the true holders of power in the United States, the Republic of China, and the newly formed Soviet Union, gathered together in a secret meeting that would later be known as the Wiseman's Committee. The secret pact they formed there marked the beginning of the philosophers. But the last of the original members died in the 1930s. After that, the organization began to run out of control, and the Wise Men's Committee degenerated into a mere shell of its former self. The philosophers of today have no sense of good or evil. Their influence extends to countries and organizations involved in every aspect of every war. They have become war itself. That's how they operate. The sacrifices of war cause a shift in the times. This shift leads to renewed conflict and in turn triggers the next war. Like a nuclear chain reaction, each conflict sparks countless others, forming an endless spiral that will continue on for eternity. 
Do you understand what I'm saying, Snake? By consuming me and you, the philosophers intend to keep that cycle going forever. It was my father who explained all of this to me. He was one of them. You see, I am the last remaining child of the philosophers. But after he revealed the truth, my father was killed by that same shapeless, formless organization. And my father isn't the only thing the philosophers have taken from me. In June of 1944, the Cobras and I took part in the landing at Normandy. We'd been given a top-secret mission to locate and destroy enemy V-2 rocket installations. I was pregnant at the time. The sorrow was the father. I gave birth on the field of battle. A beautiful baby boy. But my child was snatched away from me by the philosophers. Look at this scar. This is proof that I was once a mother. I gave up my body and my child for my country. There is nothing left inside me now. Nothing at all. No hatred, not even regret. And yet sometimes at night, I can still feel the pain creeping up inside me, slithering through my body like a snake. I've never talked this much about myself before. Thanks. Thanks for listening to me. I feel content. Snake. Commence the operation. I raised you. I loved you. I've given you weapons, taught you techniques, endowed you with knowledge. There is nothing more for me to give you. All that's left for you to take is my life, by your own hand. One must die, and one must live. No victory, no defeat. The survivor will carry on the fight. It is our destiny. The one who survives will inherit the title of boss. And the one who inherits the title of boss will face an existence of endless battle. I'll give you 10 minutes. In 10 minutes, MiGs will come and bomb the hell out of this place. If you can beat me in less than 10 minutes, you'll be able to escape in time. Let's make this the greatest ten minutes of our lives, Jack. Boss. You're a soldier. Finish your mission. Prove your loyalty. 